Please welcome back Rachel Wright and Jason Rubinoff. All right. Woo! I can't scream anymore. <laughs> First, we just want to let you know that Ronit Avni, unfortunately, <laughs> is not here to be with us. Um, she does send her best wishes for wonderful clothing. When we got up on this stage three days ago, we welcomed 1,465 of you to take this Jewish journey with us to celebrate, connect, and strengthen Jewish community. Today, as we close Tribe Best, we are actually saying goodbye to 1,516 of us. That's right, 51 people. There were 51 additional people that registered on site. They had heard and read what all of you were talking about. They caught your enthusiasm, and so on and so on. So if you're wondering why there was a blonde wig on that picture. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, you, you missed that. So earlier I asked the guys at the back, he said, hey guys, is there any way you can Photoshop <laughs> some hair onto my head? And thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> so it's been an amazing last couple of days. And as I said at, at the opening, we all came here to Tribe Fest, to Las Vegas, to the desert, to be under our Mishkan, our meeting place, and our tent. And we've all seen that there are so many reasons to be under this tent. There's so many ways to answer the call and so many ways to become more involved, to strengthen your communities, your connection with Israel, your Jewish identity, and so on and so on. There's been so much at Tribe Fest to be inspired by. How unbelievable was Talia Leman, who at just 17, She's helping kids all over the world become empowered. How moving was Bradley Sherman. He showed us all, yeah, absolutely. He showed us all how we can perform miracles in people's lives by supporting Jewish community. And how amazing was Hadass Malada Matsri. I cannot imagine how many children will grow up and follow their dreams because of her example. And how incredible was that service project yesterday? I, I, I gotta be honest with all of you. I didn't even know alarm clocks went off at 7 a.m. in Las Vegas until yesterday. <laughs> so talking about answering the call, we should be proud that over 600 of us answered the call and we delivered over 6,000 donated books to elementary schools. That's right. And so this service project, it'll continue to give back as the story has been picked up by many multiple media sources. And the greater community has now seen the power of the collective of us and what we can do. And also to add that over 200 of you yesterday got swabbed and have now been added to the bone marrow registry. So good for you. Tribe Fest has also been trending on Twitter. Over the past three days, we've seen tweets like, only at Tribe Fest can you go from the high of winning money to the high of inspiration in the blink of an eye. That was supposed to be mine, I, but I go ahead. Does. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, oh, I, this one will be mine because it's, I relate. Herbal tea for my voice, so much Tribe Fest networking. Adam Miller, wherever you are, I respect that one. The more people I listen to, the stronger I grow in feeling like I need to do more with my voice. And here is some of what you had to say at Tribe Best. The big word for me is surprise, and pleasantly surprised, and you know, awesomely surprised. It's so exciting to be in this space with 1,500 other Jews who are so incredibly friendly and so excited to be um, just around each other, and just really a celebration. I have a renewed sense of Jewish identity. Even though I have a great active community back in Dallas, I feel like I get life from being around other engaged, exciting Jews. Never have I met so many people from all over North America. I have never felt so at home. 
I'm in such a family here, and now I can honestly say that I have a friend in every port, under every single federation. I, I recognize from long ago uh, someone from elementary school, people from other locations I've lived in the United States, from Los Angeles and San Diego, and even from Connecticut, and uh, now I'm here with my Charlotte community. A lot of opportunities for Jews to come together and talk about um, their histories, their culture, um, humor. It's just kind of exciting. I feel like just the sense of excitement of like, okay, what am I going to experience next? Or who am I going to meet next? Not only are we here for social reasons, but we're here because we're, we're part of something. It's inspiring knowing that we're all kind of working towards a main cause, which is the Jewish future. And I, and I really look forward to working with some of the great people I met here uh, to progress um, and promote um, goals that are, are dear to all of us. Um, it, it's kind of re-energized me, uh, especially learning from other people and, and just listening to their stories. I've listened and I've engaged in conversation, which is very rare because we're always on our phones and we're tweeting and we're Facebooking. So hopefully I'll be able to bring some of that back and engage more, even if it's through social media. But reach out to my community and start conversations and bring people into the fold a little bit more. Here, I gotta find a tribe fest before the next tribe fest because I'm getting addicted to this. So as you can see, that's how it all happens, how we all become part of the narrative. Two people tell two friends, who tell another two friends, who tell another two friends, and so on and so on. In just three days, we widened our tent, and not just here in Las Vegas, but thanks to all of you posting on your Facebook pages, tweeting, we've been able to tell our story, our story virally. And that's the thing. Here at TribeFest, we're really just getting started. This was just a platform for you to all launch from, a place for you to take off on your own Jewish journey and in your own Jewish communities. This was an opportunity to see what's out there in the Jewish world and how you can take advantage of all of it. Now, we want you to take some of what you've seen here, heard here, and experienced here and apply it to your own life. As Stav Schaefer said in yesterday in her presentation, you don't need permission to pitch a tent. That's right. We hope you'll leave here and get more involved in Jewish community. And we're sure you're already thinking of different opportunities on how you can connect. Maybe it's joining the JFNA National Young Leadership Summer Trip to Israel. Or how about Otzma and spending and spending a few months volunteering and learning in Israel. And for my fellow Canadians back there at the back, <laughs> come to sign up and come to the National Young Leadership Conference in Montreal this December. And for all of you, mark your calendars for the Spring Leadership Conference in Dallas next, <laughs> next March 10th through the 12th. But don't just wait for the next big JFNA event like this to connect with other young Jews. Do something in your own community the minute you get back from Tribe Fest. Connect with your Jewish Federation, sponsor a program, work with other organizations that you met here at Tribe Fest, start a new program. As Bradley Sherman said yesterday, just say yes. Just say yes. So before we wrap up, we just want to say a couple of thank yous. And, and firstly, I want, to, I want to say thank you to my amazing wife, Maureen, who's been I'm glad you clapped. Actually, I forgot a line. I was supposed to say, you know, for the interest of time, please hold your applause to laugh there, but you can <laughs> clap for her. And, and she's been amazing, and she's been with me every step of the way through in Tribe Fest, and, uh, and to my two incredible sons, Daniel and Zachary, back home in Toronto. And I also want to thank my loving family who not only supported me throughout the planning of this of Tribe Fest, but actually flew here from Detroit to see it through. Um, Jason and I both want to thank our friends and, and our employers who gave us the flexibility, sometimes more than I think they realized we'd be spending, um, to, to be a part of this event. Absolutely. And thank you to all our incredible 92 partners that are up there on the screen and our, our generous sponsors who helped make this event so special.
We also want to thank we also want to thank the Jewish Federation of Las Vegas. I know Elliot's here inside the room. We want to thank you because you've been an incredible host city. We want to thank all the many local federation professionals all across North America that helped recruit all of us and get us all here. And we know you'll continue to, to continue to help us when we get back home to our homes. And thank you to the entire, the entire J JFNA staff who built TriFest from the ground up. And specifically, specifically, we want to give shout outs to a group of talented and dedicated professionals that we've been working closely with over the last 10 months. Rabbi Rachel Ain, Beth Mann, Samara Tesler, Jason Leibowitz, Stacy Walter, and Lee Levin and Tully Strum. Because you both, you both acted as our quarterbacks and really held the team on your shoulders. Thank you. As we learned here at Tribe Fest, we can accomplish anything when we're working together as a Jewish people. With a single voice, we can make a change in our own lives and our communities. But with a collective voice, we can make a change around the world. Jason and I could stand here all day, but we know you've got planes to catch and lives to get back to. So let us leave you with a few quotes from some of these speakers you've heard from during Tribe Fest. And as Rochelle Shoritz said, let's be unapologetically Jewish. Convening with other Jews is one of the most important things we can do to keep Judaism alive. Rachel Dratch. When we believe in the power that we ha each have, we have the greatest power of all. Talia Leman. We are not just helping some nameless person in Israel or in other places abroad or even in our home communities. We are helping us. Brad Sherman. When God asks, are you your brothers and sisters keepers? Do you care about other human beings? Our answer is an unequivocal yes. You are here because you decided to be your brother's and sister's keeper. Shoshana Boyd Gelfand. The power is in the team. Johnny Immerman. Thank you so much for joining us at Tribe Fest. Travel safe, and we'll see you very soon. Thank you guys. Have a safe flight. Thank you.